Okay, you guys. I am going to do a Who's That Reading. And I need you to do me a favor and go over to my other channel, The World is Waiting Tarot, and subscribe to that channel. I am trying to get a 1,000 subscribers over at that channel, and we're close. Um, do me a favor. That is the All Zodiac Channel read. Excuse me. That is the All Zodiac Channel where I will focus on the elements. These two cards try to come out. I'm not going to take them. Nope, nope. Um, I focus focus on the elements and then do all of the zodiacs. And also, um, I could do the zodiac versus whatever, whatever sign. So go ahead and go over there if you have any of those charts or if you're dealing with anybody with um, a certain zodiac that you're looking into. Go over there and see. All right, we have Aquarius and we have, we have financial constraints. So maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius that has some type of financial issues. Uh, and it says that Aquarius is unconventional, quirky, intellectual, free-spirited, unique, rebellious, friendly, but can get detached and aloof as well. So that is the energy that is coming out. Uh, someone... Yeah, egotistical, depressed, and materialistic. So some type of financial constraints cause this person to look at things in a certain um, perspective when it comes to dealing with maybe you or a situation that they've been dealing with. You know, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. But, you know, if that's the case, there are some type of financial issues that this Aquarius is going through. And in turn, they were egotistical and also they're depressed. Um, the card number four comes out, imaginative, takes things serious, orthodox, and hard to adapt when it comes to dealing with something. I know a lot of Aquarius and the Gemini's at the bottom of the deck. So maybe this is an air energy that you're dealing with. The Gemini says, imaginative, generous, clever, quick-witted, adaptable, sometimes moody, inconsistent, or changeable. So this person could have these uh, signs in their chart. Or you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Gemini, one of the two, or maybe both. Hey, I don't know. But card number eight and number four comes out. This person is depressed because in the past they were materialistic. They were materialistic and now they're depressed because their ego has gotten the best of them. Unimaginative, taking things serious. Serious. You know, one thing I know about Aquarius and Gemini, their finances mean a lot to them. Uh, orthodox and hard to adapt. Yeah, well, there you have it. So this could be somebody that's local that lives in the same city as you, um, or it might not be. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from regular tarot to see. Again, this could be an Aquarius that is going through some type of financial issues um, that's egotistical, could be depressed because at some point they were materialistic and their ego got the best of them because they felt like it was all about money. And anybody that knows a cancer knows that we don't love with money. Money comes and goes. You know, we are abundant. We know how to manifest in order to get money, depending on the situation. This person didn't wasn't aware of who you are. I, that card came out. I'm going to go ahead because these cards may come out this way. We'll turn them over as we get. I'll pull four cards. Um, but yeah. This person has some type of financial issues that they're going through because at one point they love with money until they realize that this was not a way to be. This Aquarius or Gemini, air energy. Yeah, yep. Overthinking now and toxic energy. Does that make sense? Yeah, they're overthinking and it's toxic energy. We also have the Knight of Pentacles and yep, 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 yep. Look at this. Hold on, let me... Try to fix this light. There it is. This person has been conserving the way they do things when it comes to money. So this person could have been stingy. Yep. Look at that. Oh, my God. This person could have been stingy when it came to dealing with you. They only cared about the finances. You know, they were egotistical and now they're depressed, like I said, and materialistic. They only cared about the finance part of this. And so the Knight of Pentacles tells you you can't get the results without first doing the work. Show up, work hard, and keep pushing every day. Something about this was some type of cocky energy, and this person stopped pushing, and now they're overthinking. They could have been dealing with a person that was toxic and therefore was juggling this energy. Oh, yeah. But look at this. A Gemini comes out two sides, right? Two sides. You know, two, two, you know, the Gemini, Gemini has two different personalities, right? Um, but this Gemini or this Aquarius could have been 
thinking that, you know, they were God's gift to green earth. They stopped really trying to look at everything and somehow everything got the best of them and they're having financial issues because of their ego. Yeah. Unconventional, quirky, free spirited, unique, rebellious, friendly, but can get detached and aloof as well. So this person was detached from this situation when it came to dealing with this energy. Um, yeah. And so they started to now they're overthinking and realizing the toxic patterns that they caused themselves. Let's pull some more cards. Yeah. Look at this. The Knight of Cups. They're not doing what they love anymore. You know, so we have two knights here. They're not doing what they love. The Knight of Cups energy says always follow your heart. It'll never lead you astray. They felt like their heart was leading them to the finances when that's not the case. You knew that you can't love with finances. Anybody that tries to do that. They know that it turns around and bites them in the ass. And Cancer, of course, you know that. So the Knight of Cups energy could be, you know, romance, infatuation, and somebody's well-being uh, in the upright. But in the reverse, it's empty promises, moodiness, and fantasy. So somebody that they were promising the world to uh, and using, and not necessarily promising the world to, but somebody who they felt like would always financially be there, realized that this person was egotistical. And then they pulled their finances away and they never did the work when it came to dealing with either you or someone else you know they never did the work because you know cancers we give we give and it's not even a point that you know we, it's not even a point that you know we 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 give until we feel like we've given too much i had to scratch on my or my skin was coming off i don't know but we feel until we feel like we're giving too much so this could be your energy or this could be them dealing with another person who they felt like was better than you or felt like they could offer more than you could or this is this is yeah this person felt like they you know were god's gift to green earth and this is where the juggling part come out their priorities weren't what they should have been you know what i mean and so they they relied on other situations you know, the unimaginative, take things seriously, orthodox, are hard to adapt. This person, yeah, something about this energy was either you walked away from this person, you know, uh, either you walked away from this person or this person, somebody else who they felt like they were, um, they could rely on walked away from them or they realized that it was more than what it was. And at this point, this person realized this, this was a toxic energy. Let's clarify this Knight of Pentacles energy, not doing the work. You know, the Knight of Pentacles energy is, you know, um, stability, perseverance and security. But in the reverse is stupidity, you know, exaggeration and, you know, um, potential dishonesty. So this person was dishonest, yeah, their belief system had to change or something about this situation made their belief system change and therefore they started to overthink. So somebody was probably trying to control this person because they, okay, so <laughs> yeah, somebody was probably trying to control this person um, and therefore, you know, they, they offered them all kind of gifts and stuff like that. But when they realized what this person was really doing, you know, it was a, it was like a pullback uh, type energy. Like what? Cause this person made them think about it. Like, is this worth it? And so now they're depressed because they thought the materialistic things were something that could hold them. This is unsure energy, right? The unsure energy comes out with, yeah, they didn't work. It, again, they felt like it was okay for somebody to give to them eight years. However, this couldn't, this might not have been eight years, but it could be them at one point working because the eight comes out twice, right? Eight here, eight here, right? So three eights, right? The eights mean recognizing limitations and either moving past them or staying within their bounds. This person got comfortable with what they felt like was the end all be all. Does that make sense? And then we have, yeah. So now there's conflict and competition or conflict when it comes to whomever this person was dealing with. Either this is for Aquarius or Gemini that you're dealing with. Uh, and therefore, the nine of swords, this person didn't set boundaries with whomever this person that was giving them everything. They didn't set boundaries. And therefore, with the Ace of Cups being an unsure energy, you know, the opportunities, the great joy, you know, the great, the joy that they were having in the beginning became like missed opportunities, block creativity and emotional energy, you know? And so that's where they're depressed at because again, they're sitting up there playing back in their head that, you know, now they're overthinking, right? And they're playing back this energy in their head. Like, damn, you know, cancer wasn't like this, you know, cause I don't think this is not your energy. 
This is not your energy. This is somebody that you were dealing with energy who probably was dealing with somebody else, you know, because, you know, securing the way that they do things when it came to you, maybe finances, four years, you've been dealing with this person, eight years. So I say eight because it's here. So you could be dealing with this Aquarius or Gemini for eight years. And they felt like every time somebody came into their lives or somebody who was like the cash get cash cow, cash grab, like somebody, you know, that um, they felt like somebody who, who, um, how do you say, who could offer them more. You're not materialistic. You're not like this. And so again, their belief system changed when it came to them not doing the work. So they seen people offering them stuff and they said, okay, well, cancer's not going to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. But now they're overthinking because again, you've been working on yourself. You've been dealing with this person eight years. They're having conflict with, it, with whoever they're dealing with. They're depressed because now the materialistic energy is coming back to haunt them with the self-destructive patterns. They didn't set boundaries with whomever this person is and there is no joy in this situation. So the devil energy is here. You know, and I just feel like, yeah, the financial constraints is because, you know, if, if the contracts come out, Ace of Swords, clarity. So I thought we had three aces, but we don't. Um, yeah, but this is the Ace of Swords. This is somebody having clarity, you know, at one point. OK, so there was separation here and there was difficult times and confusion in the upright. There's a there's this is clarity. This person is looking at and replaying back in their head all the self-destructive things that they've done. And now and now that they're in separation with you and they're going through a difficult time, they're depressed. They know that cancer if cancer has it. You have it. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So now they're looking at a new direction. They're making plans. So the two of pinnacles the two of wands is here right the two of pinnacles two of wands so the twos mean uh duality and balance they're balancing out this energy of looking at a new direction to go to and understanding that their priorities were not their priorities and the twos come out with the gemini because you know gemini is two sides to me you know um that's just how i see it you know the gemini is two sides but again the devil energy being here and uh, clar clarifying that the clarity, you know, the self-destructive patterns, this person is aware of what it was that they've done. And again, eight years they've been dealing with you. Four years they started to pull back from your energy because they felt like the grass was greener on the other side, if that makes sense, right? So the Ace of Swords, again, the clarity and then the joy is taken away because they forgot to set boundaries. Now, here's the thing. They set boundaries with you, right? And they rather go in conflict with you because they felt like you didn't have anything to offer them. But because they just set boundaries with this new uh, toxic energy, you know, a toxic person, you know, because their belief system changed, all they saw was the money. All they saw was the money. You know, and that this was something that they love. And they're realizing that that's not what they love. They're realizing that energy, you know, with the uh, Knight of Cups being in sideways, unsure. You know, because this is this is in the upright. It's romance, infatuation and well-being. This person was worried only about their well-being. That's why they secured the things when it comes to the four pinnacles being here. You know, they limited the way they did things with you and they conserved and they secure the things. And then in the reverse, sorry, the Knight of Cups energy in the reverse. Right. Again, it's empty promises, moodiness, and fantasies. So this person was living in a fantasy. You knew that. You knew that their belief system had to change in order for them to get through this. You know, now they feel like a failure. Look at this. This is the energy that they're in. Why are you over here manifesting and not holding on to the memories? You know, and having all your stuff happening for you, right? And not in hangman energy. They're in hangman energy and they're having a realization with the judgment being being here, you know, because they thought that this was the end all be all with the. Com well, well, here are the two of cups. So the love, the friendship and the connection, they felt like this person was a, was a friend or whatever. But here's the thing. They never set any boundaries like they did with you. So now they're depressed and they are, you know, realizing that the egotistical materialistic type energy caused them a whole bunch of a whole bunch of financial constraints. Does that make sense? I'm going to go ahead and pull from hmm, the yin and yang deck. I'll pull from the yin and yang deck because, again, this person is going through it now. They're going through it. You know, whoever this Gemini or Aquarius is or, you know, air energy, they're going through it. You know, yeah. And you're in the in the present moment. You're abundant. You're grateful. You know, you took a leap. You had to get out of this energy. You took a leap. 
you've seen the opportunities that you had for yourself and therefore you had to free yourself from this energy because this person felt like it was all about money you know they felt like it was all about money you fulfill your dreams your wishes come true you know and now they want you to forgive them and they're willing to apologize to you because they realized that this money wasn't everything that they thought it was yeah the comfort zone and clinging you know you had an epiphany so that's just kind of how i see that energy i'm going to pull from the breakup oracle because you walked away from this person you walked away from this person and therefore now they're they're reflecting on what it is that you know you guys had before they started to think about this money situation you know and i feel like I feel like at one point this person had didn't need anybody and they put themselves in a situation to where they did, you know, by feeling like, yeah, this person was pretending and uh, angry. Yeah, I'm angry at myself. Sometimes you uh, I'm angry at myself and sometimes you even you for how things turned out. How could they be angry at you when they did it? They felt like this money was everything. Right. And then focusing, focus on yourself. That's what you did. You focused on yourself and you didn't force it anymore. Pretending I'm pretending to be happy and that all is fine, but I'm miserable. You know that they're miserable. You felt that energy. And now you see, you feel the energy of what they're going through. You feel that energy of what they're going through. I'm going to pull from the lover's journey deck and then I'll pull from the messages of the heart. Yeah. This person has to realize or has realized you know has to you know and it probably again eight years of dealing with this person has realized what it is but are you going to yeah reaching conclusions uh careless actions yeah risky irresponsible behavior flaking in love that's what they're did that's why they're angry and they're willing to apologize for you reaching conclusions and with your ghost it says with your ghost searching to duplicate you haunting memories so they wanted to duplicate you with somebody who would give them everything financially it was all about the finances reaching a conclusion a sudden realization a choice being made so they reach a conclusion but here's the thing you don't want second um what is it you don't want to be second okay dreams coming true manifestation and vibration living blissfully that's you that's where the abundance and the freedom and the fulfillment comes in because that's the energy that you're in you know that's the energy that you're in when it comes to this person you know they they chose to be in this situation you didn't choose to be a part of it let me pull from the messages of the heart you know you had to find freedom and liberation in yourself because you know you had to focus on yourself and not force this situation because again you felt like it was forced so this card the energy cords despite the distance between you they feel uh the energetic cords that is keeping you two connected so of course and then the music comes so now i gotta pull from the music deck music music brings them closer to you certain songs remind them of just how special your connection was to them and then discovery they saw or heard something that turned their sense of reality upside down left them feeling powerless and trapped see i told you this person did that whomever they were dealing with Whatever this energy is um, that they were dealing with caused them to have to look at it because they caused them more financial constraints than anything else that you've ever caused. So it's going to always be the back and forth energy of why this person feels this way. But because music is here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull from the music deck because, yeah, you live through this person through music, but you had to love this person from the 5D because of the fact that you know wait no i thought a car came out because of the fact that the, you had to focus on yourself and you couldn't force this anymore as much as you knew all of these cards keep coming out um aliyah i miss you it's been a long time and i'm lost without you what am i gonna do said i've been needing you wanting you wondering if you're the same and who's been with you is your heart still mine i want to cry sometimes i miss you that's the energy that's why they're coming back to apologize to you okay so all of these cards come out and this is the second time this come out like this drake feature and rihanna take care i know you've been hurt by someone else i can tell by the way you carry yourself if you let me here's what i do i'll take care of you i um i'll take care i'll take i'll take i love 
and I've lost. So again, this is you talking to them like that. Hood celebrity, walking trophy, rock, walking trophy. I can take you to LA. We go shopping for the day. I'm spending it all on you, girl. Spending it all uh, on you anyway. Dance hall vibes, close the all of the night. My crib close by. We could go, uh, excuse me. We go, we could like hood girl tell me it's a go for tonight baby girl you got you got the glow in your light so that was uh, energy that this person may have had nice and slow it's seven o'clock on the dot i'm in my drop top cruising the street oh yeah i got a real pretty pretty little thing that's waiting for me i pull up anticipating good love don't keep me waiting i got plans to put my hands in places i never seen girl you know what i mean so this same to me Hood, this walking trophy that they felt the, the same the same uh person that they felt like was the end all be all is can, can you pay my bills 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 at first we started out we cool taking me places i ain't never been but now you're getting comfortable ain't doing those things you did no more you're slowly making me pay for things your money should be handling and now you ask to use my car drive it all day and don't fill up the tank and you have the audacity to keep to even come and step to me asking to hold some money from me until you get your check next week so that is the energy i just feel like you you were like you know you gotta you gotta put put into this this relationship or whatever it is at this point because the two of cups had came or showed his face that you got to put into this relationship it can't just be about you but this person like the look and the way that you know this person would take care of them or something like that so they wanted somebody to put that in so charlie pooth uh the song is attention you've been running around running around running 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 throwing that dirt all in my name because you knew that i knew that i knew that i'd call you up you you've been going around going around going around every party in la because you knew that knew that knew that i'd be at that one oh i now i know that dress is karma perfume regret you got me thinking about when you were mine oh and now i'm all i'm all up on you what you expect but you're not coming home with me tonight you just want attention you don't want my heart maybe you just hate the thought of me with someone new yeah you just want my attention i knew from the start you're just making sure i never i, I i'm never getting over you so this is the energy that this girl was playing or this person i'm gonna say girl because it doesn't say um i'm gonna say person because it doesn't say whether this is a male or a female dealing with the cancer um and normally it does come out that way but i think this is the back and forth energy of what was playing games you know you said you would take care of them you know take care i know you've been hurt by someone else you could feel that energy of this person you know and now this energy is coming back around to you but this person felt like everybody else was the the end all be all and this is the the girl the attention person that turns around and uh is giving them everything and then turns around and plays games and that's just kind of how i see it so they're depressed because they can't get out of this situation now i'm gonna go ahead and pull from the what's the tea deck because this person that they're dealing with they have some tea maybe we can pull information or energy from this person to see what it is that they really were dealing with but yeah i just feel like now that they they see really what this person was about it was like i got you where i want you now i'm gonna eat you like they trapped them you know and they 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 put all the they paid all the bills they they did all this hood celebrity, you know, and made them feel like they was the arm candy and all this other stuff. And, you know, they thought that they were God's gift to green earth. And then they turned around and start playing games like that, you know, and trying to tie them down. Something that you ain't really tried to do. You just wanted to love them. Right. Unskilled. Yeah, I feel like you're skilled. I think I feel like with this game, I think like you're skilled enough to be able to deal with this person and understand it. But this person felt like that this other person was that they could handle this other person. And again, they didn't set boundaries because this person was throwing. Yeah, now they're playing the victim. This person is throwing um, 
you know, uh, everything that they do for them in their face. And then look, this attention song is this person that's playing the victim. And that's basically what this song is coming out and saying, you know, this song is playing the victim windfall. It says, okay, so this is the energy that this girl or this person was making it rain on them. And therefore they felt like it was, it was everything. The financial, the money was there. Like this person had all the money, but it was really a trap. It was really a trap. Um, I'm not taking all of these cards, but I will take this one that came over. Oh, actually, yes, yeah, one. Never satisfied. See, this person that they're dealing with, yeah, they may have money, but they use that as a pawn, and they're never satisfied. And at one point, this person um, you, that you were dealing with, this Aquarius or Gemini, was, um, you know, securing their their stuff because, you know, they felt like, you know, you were trying to do something. No, you were just trying to work together and, and, you know, do everything and even let them use your car. But, you know, because you seen the pain or whatever they went through, but you realize that this person was never satisfied. And then, then what happens is that the way the universe works, they turn around, the universe will send what this person needs to be mirrored to them in order for them to really see the benefits that you bring to the table. So that's where this energy is at, right? Does that make sense? You know, um, yeah, photo proof. So you knew what this person was doing. So just so happened, we're talking about the club, right? And this person say, you just want my attention. Photo proof. You know what this person has been doing. You know, people have probably have probably told you what this person is doing. Yeah. But, you know, this person has been holding grudges on against you because you have been the one that's been trying. And they know that all along trying to take care of them. Okay. So, hold on. Oh, I thought it was more than one card. Yeah, so now they feel trapped. They feel trapped by all the finances that this person gave to them and then I like holding it along, you know, because they're playing victim now, you know, they're playing victim about, you know, all the money that they've offered to them. Uh, and they, you know, this person, because they didn't set boundaries, they're like, damn, they're replaying it and they're holding grudges, but they're upset about with you because at one point you, this person was shallow and you were shallow, but it says here, angry. It says, I'm angry at myself and sometimes even you for how things turned out. They turned out because that was what they wanted. Does that make sense? That was what they wanted. And therefore you were just like, you know what? I can't do this yeah this boss this person power suit power mind you know this person who felt like you know they had it all they had it made are going through financial constraints because this yeah this person now that they're with is complaining they're fighting with them and they're a spiritual hater because they don't want this person to be able to manifest without them and it's a love triangle could be you know it could be and you were a part of that at one point and you were fighting this situation you know and you at one point were fighting this third party energy you know because it was a love triangle and then you decided to get out and start working on yourself where is it at you focused on yourself and therefore, you couldn't force this anymore, you know, because you had to figure out this love triangle, this person, you know, um, that you're fighting with, you're fighting because this person is buying their love, you know, this person's love, this boss's love, they're buying this Gemini or, or, or uh, Aquarius's love. And you were like, you know what, all that will come to an end. And then what? You know, so why this person was complaining about the things that they felt like you were shallow, you know, they were shallow. And oh, wait, I didn't even see this front and ass, deep love now, you know, and crying over you. And they're trying to be tough and wear, wear uh, a mask. But, you know, this other person is cock blocking because they, you know, they uh they want to fight with you they want to fight with not only you with this person as well and therefore they're listening you're listening you were listening to the fake news that was being spread uh because there's proof and photos about how in love this person was trying to make it seem like it was and you know that that's not the case does that make sense i'm gonna go ahead and pull hmm. let me see this is from what's the teaspoon i haven't used this one in a while <clears throat> yes what's the tea spill but yeah i just feel like um this person i'm sorry my desk is a mess but where is it at right here 
this person, yeah, caught in the act. Someone has been caught doing something they shouldn't have. And, you know, that's what it was in the beginning. Yeah, this person has low vibes, bad energy, a low vibrational person, uh, energy that feels dark, dense, and heavy, harboring suffering and fear of anger, and fear and anger. So that was this energy that you just was like, you know what? I can't compete with this energy. This person is going to try to take you out of your element and want to try to fight you and me. And it's going to, in the end, cry over you and make it seem like you guys are so in love, right? So in love with their front ass, right? With their front ass. And that because they're shallow and they're going to complain and they're going to use this money to trap you because they're wearing a mask right now, you know? And they have bad energy. That's just kind of how I see that, right? Yeah, that's just kind of how I see that. You know, they have bad energy. Yep, crying over someone. This person is crying uh, twice, come out twice, crying over you, crying over someone. This this energy comes out twice, you know? No, yep, this is what this person's energy was in. No money, no talk. No money, no talk. This is the energy that the CEO, whoever here, this boss energy was in. And they felt like that because they could be that way, but they didn't realize that this was a trap. So many times, sorry. That this was a trap. So again, they should have been careful what they asked for. No money, no talk. Not wanting to talk unless money is involved. Hustling, getting to the bag at all costs. And that was the energy that they were in. The bottom of the deck is heartbreaker. A person who can break hearts easily. Everyone wants them, but not everyone can have them. You know that about this person. However, for some reason, this money blinded them. This money blinded them and made them kind of get 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 rid of all of the stuff that they would have never done. Okay. So I went ahead and continued now. Um, I just feel like you have, and that was my baby calling me, my, my pretty called me. I just feel, yeah, this person Whoever this other person is, now they're stalking you. Someone stalking uh, you on social media or by any means possible, often checking up on you, keeping tabs, watching you. I feel like this is the same person, this person who it says cog blocking, that's never satisfied, the spiritual hater. I feel like that's the energy of this love triangle, you know, uh, I don't think this is your energy and I don't think this is their energy. Whoever they were dealing with, with these low vibration, ener vibrational energies that was wearing a mask and that made it rain on them, uh, complained a lot. They were shallow. You know, they were fronting about the things that they really wanted. They tried to trap this person into a relationship, cog blocking, fighting, you know, all the headaches that, you know, you know, creating fake news. I don't necessarily and put in information out there as if they are, you know, um, in, in this loving relationship, but it's really a love triangle because, you know, they made this person, uh, feel locked down and everything with them in this energy of, you know, no money, they'll talk because they figured out how to get to this person. Does that make sense? That's just kind of how I see it. They figured the best way to do something is to trap them, you know, and that's just kind of how I see that energy. So let me go ahead. Uh, I was going to end this, but I'm going to pull a couple more cards because this person, this person that is dealing with this other type of person, this other energy of, uh, yeah, this other energy, this person that's dealing with this other energy is just like all over the place. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull all of these cards up and try to pull a little bit more energy when it comes to this boss and dealing with this front and ass person, you know, um, toxic energy, right? No money, no talk. This boss energy, you know, that's, that's the energy that they, uh, gave to you. And so you like, you know what? Okay. I'm going to focus on myself, boss man, you know, or boss gal, however you want to do it. And so that's what basically is coming out. And now this other person is stalking them because they were in that energy of, you know, all they cared about was no money, no talk. You know what I'm saying? And they knew that, you know, but at the same time, it was strategic because 
they were wearing a mask and they were trapping this person. You know, they were trapping this person and therefore at one point this person wasn't satisfied with what you were giving them and they were pretending to like this person and they, they turned around and this person started to start trying to take stuff back or be in the energy of, you know, that shallow energy. Does that make sense? You know, they were in that shallow energy and wanted to fight and cause a whole lot of, you know, but, but they felt like they made it though. That's the whole point. They felt like they made it, but what they did was they found a stalker, somebody who was wearing a mask, you know, and giving them all that they wanted. And then until they trapped them, you know, yeah, that's what happens, right? That's what happens. So, you know, the crying over you, all of these energies coming out, you know, and, you know, that's just kind of how you had to deal with this person, you know, and just like, you know what, I'm not going to fight with nobody. I know my position and I know what I can do, you know, and so this is the energy that, and I can't find the card anyway. I think it was that card I was looking for, but now this person that they realize is shallow and they blocking them from everything and they're a spiritual hater. That's what I was looking for was that spiritual hater because here it is. They know the energy that you have with this person. If that makes sense. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull tarot. I'm going to pull from another tarot deck because this one is actually, um, yeah, I haven't fake. Yeah, this person is fake. Anyway, let me pull tarot to see what comes out, you know, with this boss person. They realize that this was a trap and now they're upset. Yeah, the, uh, see, look. If you look at this card, okay, so this is the Wheel of Fortune, right? The Wheel of Fortune is cycles, right? And so with the Wheel of Fortune being here, this is somebody being on a hamster wheel. This is like uh, round and round and round and round and round. This person is going in order to feel like they are the boss. Does that make sense? And then we have the Four Cups energy. So the Four Cups energy comes in reverse. This is bitter, angry, uh, a bitter and angry type of person. Normally with the Four Cups in the upright, it'd be like bored and reaching a plateau. But this person that they've been dealing with is bitter and angry, you know? And so that's where the energy... Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles, where it comes out, because all they care about is the finances. This is that person right there. You see the lady in the background that um, is like, whatever, you know, like, and everybody else is happy because the money is raining on them. And this lady in the background is like, yeah, whatever, you know, um, I got you where I want you. Now I'm going to eat you, you know, like, I don't know if you guys ever saw that show. I don't know which one it was, but when I was younger, it was a show like that. And I cannot think of what it is, but yeah. Yep. So the three of swords here comes in the reverse the same way it did. This is the uh, insult fraud, you know, and a painful experience this person is going through because again, this person, you know, try to, uh, you know, play a, play a role. They were playing a role, you know, they were playing a role and here it is. They said everything that they had and the things that they were going to be able to get and accomplish for this person or give. And then this person came to you, the, the either Aquarius or Gemini came to you and was like, you know, oh, well, something you like, this person is wearing a mask, you tripping, you know, like, okay, well, you feel like I'm cock blocking and I'm really not. This person is a spiritual hater and they're going to do what they can to get you in their gas. And then they're going to turn around. Yeah, they're going to turn around. And this came out unsure with the page of wands energy. Listen, yesterday is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing that's real is the present moment. So enjoy it. You know, you're not enjoying this moment. This person has had a financial uh, like they're holding money over your head or over this person's head. And now they're really getting to see that it caused more, more um, insult to injury than it did. And anything, anything else, I'm not going to take all of these cards, but yeah, this person, uh, you know, basically trapped them with the money, you know? Yep. King of Pentacles energy. So the King of Pentacles, this is how they made them feel like in the beginning. Look, this is what they did, right? You know, got you where I want you. King of Pentacles. Listen, there's no reward without risk. Create opportunities. Don't be afraid to fail and invest your time wisely. So you invested your time with this person. They showered this person with love and all kind of stuff. And then they turned around and pulled it back. So this is what they did. They showered them with all this love and then they pulled it back. 
because they were wearing a mask. They knew what they were doing. This was to teach strategic. Look at that energy. The Empress energy. You know, look at this person. They they love with money. This person loves with money. They wear a mask and they love with money. Same energy, same person, right? They love with money. And so they turn around and you re they realize this person realizes this person was sh uh, shallow, you know, and it was insulting to them. You know, they realized that this person was a fraud wearing a mask, only caring about what they thought they cared about. But it's not really the money aspect. Uh, and they realize that this person is a spiritual hater and is clock block and doesn't want this person to do anything, right? Yeah, the Ace of Swords energy is in reverse. Separation, difficult times, and confused. This person is confused. Again, this uh, Aquarius or Gemini that you're dealing with is confused on the separation because they realize you got your shit together. And this whole energy of this person playing this role and trying to trap them is basically where the stalking and the no money, no talk, you know, because they tried everything to win this person, to win this Aquarius or Gemini over. And they realize that, you know what? This person was cock blocking all along. Yep, the hermit energy in reverse, though. The hermit in reverse is, you know, basically, you know, resignation. Like they're like distanced uh, and isolated now because they realize that if they, if they continue, you know, if they, if, if they continue to deal with this person, this person is going to try to sabotage everything that they're doing and that's what they're doing they're trying to come back i don't know if they're trying to come towards you or whatever with the queen of cups yes look at that i don't even see that the queen of cups so they're trying to come towards you you know because and this person is blocking it so something about this energy this person is taking back what it is that they gave to them and then your person is just like this gemini or aquarius is just like you can have it back you know because i'm able to manifest everything while you've been patient and then the knight of cups energy you know always following your heart this person realized what it is that they gave up you know they had a and realization that's funny they realized what they gave up with the judgment energy being here you know like the ebenezer screws type energy when they get to the end of you know and everything is being put to the test they realize what they gave up a cup of love by not following their heart because they know where their heart laid or lied and when you were actually with this person, and it, and remember the last card, the four the four pinnacles came out and the eight of pinnacles came out. You were watching this person and being patient with this person and their success, so they could reach to this this power suit type energy, right? And in turn, how they pictured themselves and how you pictured them. You saw the the potential in this person. And what they did was instead of them working hard like they normally would, they gave this other person the opportunity to get to, to take advantage of them. This person who they felt like was God's gift to green earth, who could financially provide for them when this person was wearing a mask this whole time. Does that make sense? And so then they're manifesting powers because this was this was you know, in the process of them going after what it was that they want, them actually achieving that. But then they stopped working on themselves. And this person, you know, said, oh, I can help you do this. I can help you do that. Oh, these jewels. Oh, no, no, no thing. Oh, a yacht. Oh, okay. Oh, a car. Oh, okay. But then she, they turned around and took it back. So I don't know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If this isn't for you, then it's not for you. But this is somebody that dealt with somebody who love with money and they love with money harder than what this other person did than this Aquarius or Gemini. And now they're realizing they're having a realization that these financial constraints come from them not believing and not going after, where's it at? Not going after the things that they want. Where is it at? Where is that card at? Mm, I can't find it no more. Where is it at? Anyway, and so this person has put them on a hamster wheel. They put them around in a hamster wheel and turn. Oh, here it is. Uh, they put them in a hamster wheel, you know, like instead of them actually, you know, doing what it was, they kept stringing them along, stringing them along, stringing them along. And you're just right here like, no, no, no. And that's what they're doing, holding the money in front of their hand, an acorn in front of a hamster's hand, because and this person felt like they were the boss. Does that make sense? So this is somebody that your person has been dealing with. And this is your energy. You were sad. You were waiting. 
you were waiting. The Queen of Cups just happens to come out at the bottom of the deck with this Gemini. So maybe this is more of a Gemini energy. Um, it's air energy any way it goes, you know. But now this person is trying to sabotage everything that this person is doing, especially when it comes to you. So they're going to pull back. The financial constraints is going to come because this person is going to realize that, you know what, nobody can control me. And that was the issue it was in the daytime. They saw the beauty and the things that they were doing. And then they turned around and gave up their control for somebody offering them an easier time. Something better than what they felt like you could have offered them. Does that make sense? And they took it back because they used that as a as a as an option to hang over, you know, uh, like the uh, acorn in front of their face. So that is the energy that I see. Let's go ahead and release this energy. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, sadness. Excuse me, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. And remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation. I love you guys.